Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is your weekly collective tarot reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe in doing good, Sagittarius. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you, Sagittarius. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Sagittarius sign. This is for the Sagittarius friends out there. Let's see what's coming towards you. What is the message for Sagittarius, please, okay? Before I start, Sagittarius, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This reading for today, this is for Sagittarius, please. Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situation message for you guys. What can I get for Sag? Ooh, oh wow. <laughs> you get the lover's card, the king of pentacles. Okay, this is really nice. Wow, okay. Let me just stick you on my list. And then um, let me get you your overall energy. I'll just shuffle it again. What is the overall energy for Sagittarius? You've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. In the eight of wands um something tells me sagittarius that overall energy um there's something there was something recent or something is happening right now there was something recent or something is happening right now or something is about to happen sagittarius where you are sitting in a expecting you know, you were expecting a package, a person, an offer, okay? Um, I feel like there is some sort of excitement. I feel like there's some sort of being excited and at the same time, a little bit impatient with um, you, Sagittarius. Uh, you're waiting for an offer. You know, it could be a phone call. It could be an email. It could be a message. But there's something that you're waiting there is some sort of result that you are waiting in this result, this offer, this outcome that you're waiting to get or waiting to have uh, as soon as you have it from two of ones to eight of ones. Um, it means that you're going to run away with it. You know, it means because from two to eight, it means this offer will, this offer will take you to not the next level, but it will it's a very fast offer it's the waiting is the waiting it took long but once it arrives sagittarius it, it's it's never stopping this two of ones eight of ones from two to eight like it will accelerate and it will never stop so there is an advice for you to be very patient to be positive and Yes, there might still be a waiting time, but be patient, be positive. Whatever it is, it's on its way to you. Once it starts, it won't stop and on, on its way to you. Sagittarius, I just wrote that, okay? So be patient, be positive because in, it's... What's that song? That song from J-Lo, On Its Way to You, okay? All right. So that is your overall energy. Be patient, okay? Now, let's pick up more intuitive message for you, Sagittarius. And, um, okay, so the first card is you've got the Fool card, the Magician card, and the Chariot card. I feel like there was something, there was something about taking a risk. The Fool card, you could be dealing with the Pisces, but you're about... There's something that you would like to do and it's about taking a risk and it's not connected to taking a risk in the future but i feel like it's more of i feel like there is something that would click in your life like in the cycle that you're sitting right now 
Sagittarius where the full card, you would like to take a risk with somebody, with someone in the past, you know. I feel like, you know, the full card, the magician card, the chariot card. Um, there was no closure. There was no update. Like, there's a part of you that you said goodbye to it. And I'm also getting like the same person, you know, you and the person. There was no closure or it could be an external situation. But you want to take a risk. You want to start all over again. You want to look at it. There's something about this energy, Sagittarius, where it's not undone. Like you don't want to undo it. But you're kind of... You have accepted the outcome, but then somehow your feelings and also the person or the situation, their feelings, it is changing or it has changed. And both of you are in alignment of reopening the discussion, the offer, the missed opportunity. Yeah, Nine of Cups. I feel like this month specifically, um, your feelings towards them or the situation it's changing. Like you change your mind. And so was the person. I feel like there was something recently or in the past that the situation, person, offer, whatever this external energy that I'm tapping in. I feel like it wasn't really processed. It wasn't really dealt with properly. If there was some closure in it, it was given a closure like it was a shutdown. It was not a gentle closure. It was a forced closure for some of you guys. So the external energy, sometime around June, sometime around Feb, sometime around New Year, you know, Feb, New Year, and June could be a cancer. Now this offer, this situation, you're starting to return your interest towards this person or situation, okay? Yeah, Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups. So there is someone in the past, an opportunity, a person, an external thing, maybe a feeling, but there was something that you're starting to take interest again. This is you, or they're starting to take interest with you. Um, I feel like it hasn't happened yet, you know. There's a feeling in here that... Um, Maybe in the past, this person never liked you, but now they're starting to like you. But there's a sense of, ooh, it's changing. The Knight of Cups, like the Knight of Cups is falling in love with the Queen of Wands. They don't normally get along, but now they are getting along. So something tells me it's connected to work, to fame. It, calls, it could also be connected to love, but there is this person or situation or external, external energy where... It's quite a black out, like black out, I don't like you. And you're also like, I don't like you. Like it's um it's a mutual decision that I don't like you. And boom, you close the door and they close the door. So your feelings towards them and their feelings towards you, it's changing and it's getting better. You know, it's 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 an energy where you don't like them before, but now you're starting to like them. There is an influencing, influencing, <laughs> influencing factor. Like suddenly, like you like your enemy <laughs> or your frenemy. Or if you hate this person, now you're starting to like them and they're starting to like you. It's kind of weird vibe, but it's also a nice vibe. There is this quiet or mutual, quiet but mutual vibe that you're starting to like this person who you do not like before and it's vice versa like with the five of swords i feel like it's a stalemate it's a stalemate because you know and they know that you're starting to like each other that you're starting to appreciate them you're starting to see their value you're starting to say i was wrong or they were wrong five of swords yeah let's look at the five of swords in here it could be a gemini libra aquarius cancer scorpio pisces it could be a female who likes to put a lot of makeup you know i'm seeing that it could also be 
a male who has a very you know i like their their face is really warm and nice but they're quite like they're quiet and a little bit snob but they've got a rep reputation of being they've got whoever this person is could be a male could be a female but they have a reputation of being quiet silent not talk ish so now you feel like this person is talking to me you know and there's something about wonder woman <laughs> as well maybe the movie maybe you dated this person but they're starting to warm up and you too you can't deny that sagittarius there's a warming up in here you're breaking the wall of someone's very guarded yeah six of cups um maybe when you and this person maybe you didn't get along in the past maybe you break up maybe you separated and you totally shut your door and they totally shut their door and then you take a peek and they take a peek you know parallel and you started opening the door for this person bigger and bigger and bigger bigger and bigger and bigger and so as they bigger and bigger and bigger you know so it's so a five of swords six of cups it's interesting because it's the one that you don't like or it's you can yeah with, with the six of cups you know you, you have declared like non persona like non grata persona like you're not welcome in my life <laughs> it could also be a sister could be a brother but like there is a strong vibe in here that you declare i am not gonna be on your side but it things are changing i feel like you and this person are getting into the groove getting into the mood like you're even high five like you're always in opposition of each other but lately you're getting cozy with this person yeah two of cups page of cups i feel like you and this person could be a capricorn cancer scorpio or you in this situation because i'm also picking up a group of people in here i feel like you and this person like it's really an improving relationship it's really an improving connection there's such an improvement between the two of you um it's a baby step towards reconciliation. It's a baby step towards um, connection, reconnection. And you guys are seeing the big picture, the benefits, the advantage of having each other, not just now, but also in the future, okay? You have a three of pentacles in here, okay? Let's see what's the three of pentacles. What's the three of pentacles for Sagittarius, please? wow okay so the person or the situation that you're dealing with they will put more effort okay if you sagittarius um if you sagittarius is reciprocating them so maybe they text you or you they call you or maybe they help you and you're reciprocating this person they will uh, match every call every text every effort that you give to them so whoever this person is, they have matured. Um, they have matured. They are. They become an emperor, and they realize that it's very. It's a bit like fragile. To like this is a very important turn of events for you and this person. There's a lot of adjustment, setting aside the ego, reciprocation. Whoever this person is. There is a lot of wanting to reciprocate. So keep it going. If you want to keep this person offer or situation, you got to keep it going. It needs, you need to be vulnerable. You need to reciprocate their effort and they will reciprocate your effort. Okay. I'm really getting like a good vibe in here. It feels very secure. It, it, it feels like very promising. It's like too stubble. Like it feels like stu, stu. <laughs> It feels like two stubborn adult trying to find their way to maturity <laughs> and realizing how amazing it is to collaborate, to connect, you know. Let's see, let's see what else is coming towards you with this person, you and this person. Yeah, three of swords. Like two stubborn person uh, moving past the three of swords, the pain, the hurt, and looking at you and looking at the situation something like we, we can't stay like this you know like this emperor card is above the three of swords and the nine of swords the emperor is about action so someone is like we can't stay forever hiding hating no it's so immature we need to act slowly you know something is reciprocating this is like um two 
like two person maybe you and a team or but there's two energies in your one your energy and their energy really realizing okay we need to open up we need to open up we need to move past three of swords and the nine of swords okay this is the external person in the hidden energy you've got the ace of wands wow this is really nice if you and this person continue to reciprocate, even if you have to kind of follow up a little bit, you know, there's, there's, it's okay to follow up. It might get delayed with their response, but they will reciprocate. It's very positive. It's very humanly, very grounded, very humble. It's very respectful. But once you and this person reach a point of removing all the block, and the wall, it's going to be a um, ace of wands. It's going to be a passionate new beginning. It's going to be a passionate connection. It's going to be very passionate with the ace of wands in here. You know, the passion that you and have, we know this two came together. This, in the future, you and this person, you guys are inseparable. Like, imagine you started off, like, like it. I would say the past was... A not so good thing and then you manage to fix it both of you because it's both you know the ace of pentacles the lover's card um this is i would say this is a mutual um this is a mutual this is a mutual thing you guys are like power couple you guys are you guys are power couple you guys are really i would say you, you you went through a lot with this personal situation and if you pass the three of swords the nine of swords you guys are unbeatable you got you guys are really a power couple your your team whatever dynamic it is it could be love because there's a lover's card in here it could also be gemini but i tell you if you just stay patient and focus and reciprocating because you got to ask yourself, do you want to keep this? If you want to keep this and stay focused, stay patient, reciprocate, because it will go to one day. It will, it's going to click and it's going to be unstoppable. You will have the offer. They will have the offer. The wall will, um, the wall will go away. The mask, the unmasking, and then an ace of pentacles and the lover's card will come along, which means that it's going to be a beautiful connection. It's going to be a beautiful union. It's going to be a beautiful collaboration between the two of you because you guys have removed, you and this person have managed to remove each other's block by being mature. So there's a lot of maturity in here. And not only that, but not only that, but not, it's not just maturity, but it's a very passionate union. Like it's, it, this is a person or situation where we've gone through a lot of indifferences. And if we manage to move past the three of swords and nine of swords, then this is going to be a very passionate relationship, a very passionate union, a very productive, and not only that, but very committed with the king of pentacles in here. You know, it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but there is so much commitment to be passionate. There is so much commitment and energy to put through to make it better and better and better and better like this reading you know in the past it was downward spiral i'm seeing this if you're reciprocate and patient because you guys are both open to connect this um the situation will go all up in the way because both of you are mature and both of you are committed and with the ace of wands i really feel like you get them and they get you to a point where you just see each other you can even finish each other's sentence that your energy and their energy the vibe that you share it's just unstoppable it's just wow from i hate you now i love you you know it's really you will you and this person will appreciate how a 360 turn of event took place between the two of you ace of wands so this is really amazing okay and i like it because it's very grounded you know it's not all about passion impulsiveness no there's a lot of maturity and grounded and it did not happen overnight it was a slow steady progress sto slow steady outcome so whoever this is, Sagittarius, it's a person that can ground you. It's a person that doesn't spark right away, 
but it's slow, 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 connect, and never leaving, like, you know. So, Sagittarius, stay focused, stay patient. There is an amazing offer coming your way, and reciprocate, and this is what I have for you. Thank you so much. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.